What's going on you guys? Working on my 2007 Mustang GT and this is a, uh, a common repair for this generation, the 5th generation Mustang 2005 to 2009. Uh, could affect other models on up to 2014 as well. Uh, if you're having issues with your air conditioning vents not blowing correctly, you know, where they're not coming out of the uh, front vents properly or they're defaulting to the defrost vents and you've already tried, you know, resetting the system, you know, with pulling the fuses down there. Uh, another way to reset the whole HVAC blowing system is to actually disconnect your switches down here. Which sounds ridiculous, but uh, that is in the service manual, believe it or not. To do a cold reset, it's called, on the whole uh, actuator system because these models use electronic actuators for the uh, temperature blend and the heater and defrost blend. Anyway, that's not the whole point of this. That is all over uh, YouTube. However, here's one that is not so commonly uh, stated on YouTube or elsewhere. If you want to get to this upper left actuator... I have it disconnected right now, obviously, because that orange plug is where it goes to. You know, it's one that looks like, like this guy here. If you want to get to it, the issue is the ductwork is in the way. So I have it propped up. You see this little doohickey here? Let's see if I can hold this light still. You're going to have to get something to prop up the ductwork right here. So you can use a, uh, you know, like a the handle of a large screwdriver, you know, something that's not going to damage it, but you got to pry that in there. Then you can pull up on it and cram something, you know, a, a piece of block or, you know, just anything that can hold the ductwork up because you're going to need that clearance to get to the actuator, which is usually up in there on the uh, right-hand side. You can see the, the actual vent uh, actuate the little arm is on there on the right. Anyway, it's just difficult to get to the two screws that hold it in place unless you prop up the ductwork to get it out of your way. Now, the tool that I have found that works the easiest is a this is a little round ratchet, little quarter inch ratchet. This thing is priceless for difficult to reach or not much clearance situations. You can get one of these at any, you know, any of your uh, basic tool and hardware stores. Because if you try to use a standard quarter inch ratchet, you have almost no room, you know, to, to move the ratchet back and forth. So you're going to need uh, it's a, a little eight millimeter socket and a rather short extension. And you might need the swivel attachment also. You, you're just going to get creative on how to get to these little two little screws that are up here on the right hand side. That part is pretty self-explanatory. But being able to reach them, you have to move the ductwork out of the way. All right. So whatever means you need to do that, there's your easiest way to get to it because it's not that big a deal otherwise. You know, um, if you uh, you know if you drop something back behind there, it's just going to fall to the uh, the floorboard down here anyway. So that's not a big deal. You know, and you might want to reach up under there behind the dash and do it, but you you don't have to. You know, if you lower your steering wheel all the way. And of course, you know, the rest of this is self-explanatory of how to get the uh, instrument cluster out of there. There's only a few little screws. You know, you can see here's all the hardware right here. Actually, it's not that big a deal. Anywho, uh, there's your trick. Find a way to prop up the ductwork for your air conditioner, you know, for the vents up there. And that'll give you much better clearance to work with the actuators. Hopefully that'll resolve your problem and you should probably reset your whole system by pulling the fuses down, down below on the right. That is also uh, all over the internet. Anyway, that's all I got. Y'all have a good day.